Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayla13. This will be another collaboration video to mark the milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Now, I'm a little late, sorry about that, but it's that time of year where everybody gets busy. Collaborating with me today is a man on the complete opposite side of the world from me, Mr. Randy Culp from Wisconsin. Randy's son got him into the hobby about three years ago, and I first met him about that time when he contacted me about my Legion of Everblight on Private Hit Press's painting forums. They will be painting up one of Legion's newest releases, the Blighted Nis Warlord. Like last time, it will be a series of still pictures, and I hope you enjoy the video. Randy started by laying down the base coats. Using P3 paints, he painted the armor with Battlefield Brown, the metal with Radiant Platinum, the swords with Quicksilver, and the hair and leather with Bootstrap Leather. He painted the cape Scorn Red, the sword handle with Bootstrap Leather, and the hilts with Radiant Platinum. My own Warlord is on a Micro Art Studio Desert Wasteland base. I painted the skin with Rackart Flesh and washed it with Seraphim Sepia. The armor was painted with Rhinox Hide, the pants with Steel Legion Drab, and the leather straps with Mournfang Brown. The armor, pants, and leather were all washed with Agrax Earthshade. The cloth was painted with Scrag Brown, and the hair with a mix of Rucksack Tan and Mournfang Brown. Randy painted Battlefield Brown around the arm spikes, and then the spikes themselves with Jackbone. He painted the skin with a 50-50 mix of Crix Bane Highlight and Morrow White, and the pants with Hammerfall Khaki. My blighted spikes were painted with Scrag Brown, followed by Rhinox Hide and then a wash of Null Oil. Randy used a Battlefield Brown wash to define the hair and shade the sword blade. He highlighted the hair by dry brushing it with Bootstrap Leather, followed by Ember Orange and finally Heart Fire. I painted my hair with Zemisi Desert and then highlighted the strands with Screaming Skull. I washed the hair with Seraphim Sepia. Randy highlighted the leather straps with Hammerfall Khaki, followed by a wash with Battlefield Brown. I highlighted the pants with Steel Legion Drab and the straps with Mournfang Brown. I highlighted the cloth by mixing yellow into the Scrag Brown base coat, adding more yellow for the final highlight. Randy highlighted the armor with Hammerfall Khaki followed by a wash with Battlefield Brown. My armor was highlighted with a mix of Rhinox Hide and Mournfang Brown. Then the armor trim and all the other metal parts were painted with Cold Steel. When that was dry, they were washed with a mix of Agrax Earthshade and Seraphim Sepia. The sword was then highlighted back up to Cold Steel. Randy filled in the eyes with diluted Crix Bane base and then painted inside the eyes with Sulfuric Yellow. I fill in the eyes with black and then dot in the whites of the eyes with pale cream. Randy highlighted the skin by mixing Morrow White with matte mixing medium. He says he wanted a translucent effect. I highlighted my skin with Rakarth Flesh, mixing in white for the final highlight. I painted the ropes around his waist Steel Legion Drab and then washed them with Agrax Earthshade. Randy liked the Warlord so much that he painted a second one. It was painted like the first except the armor was base coated with coal black and the hair with Thamar black. The cape was painted with beast hide. The armor was washed with army painter quickshade. And the hair was highlighted with exile blue, then signar blue and frostbite. He picked out large rocks to glue on the base and then glued sand around them. He then washed the sand with battlefield brown and dry brushed it with menoth white. He finished off the bases with baking soda snow. I painted the base doom bull brown and then washed it with nalna oil. Once dry, I dry brushed it with Doom Ball Brown, Scrag Brown, Zamisi Desert, and then Screaming Skull. I painted the rims with black. The wood on the base was painted with Steel Legion Drab, and the bones with Rackarth Flesh mixed with bone. Both were washed with Agrax Earthshade, and then highlighted with their base coat colors, followed by a slightly lighter highlight. I finished off the base with Grass Tufts and Static Grass. And here are the finished models. I'd like to thank Randy again for collaborating with me, and you can expect another one of these videos at about the 2,000 subscriber mark. Until then, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.